guys welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is mink and this is mink's kinks and i know y'all are like girl what are you talking about y'all read the title no i have never done a wash and go with eco styler joe and that's what we're doing today i don't know why i have never used eco as a wash and go in the beginning of my natural hair journey i really was solely a twist out girl i've said this in so many videos before but i was almost solely a twist out girl i experimented with flexi rods and you know all that type of random stuff and y'all i know i am going to do a natural hair journey type of video I promise y'all will get that video but yeah i really wasn't a wash and go girl i have always 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 used eco though um i've I have all the egos I have tried the clear I have two red ones at home this is like probably like my 30th thousand of the green the green is my favorite I have the curl and wave I have the coconut I have the gold I have so many different egos and I am going to do reviews on them but I figured let's go ahead and start with the OG this is the olive oil it is a max 10 hold and this is the 32 ounce because I love this to slick down a puff a ponytail a bun any of that type of stuff I reach for eco for that I have like the um afro sheen slick back styler I have really been enjoying that though so I put this down for a little while but I thought you know let's go ahead and try wash and go with this now that I feel like I've you know kind of got a little hang of it so y'all know that I usually tell you guys what I use to wash my hair um I went ahead today with the Carol's Daughter Rasul Clay shampoo and conditioner and I do have a review so I will link that up above it'll be up in the cards and then y'all um I deep conditioned with the curl of Assance um hair mask i can't remember the name off the top of my head but i also have a review on that and i'll link that above too i personally like to oil my scalp i know that a lot of people um aren't really a fan of it but i really enjoy oil in my scalp so i do so the oil that i went in with today is the curls blueberry and mint tea um scalp treatment and i really really do like this oil i'm gonna try and use this up i'm gonna use this solely for my scalp until it's gone and i'm gonna tell y'all i really like this the mint feeling on here top two and not two and then i went in with one of my favorite leave-in conditioners this is the kc by cara cara curl essence moisturizing leave-in conditioner and it's 11.25 ounces and y'all look this is almost gone i think i have a use and maybe a couple maybe maybe a use and a half i don't know um but i love this leave-in conditioner i definitely will be repurchasing it again this is a staple in my stash i love this leave-in and i thought that it would be best to pair with the eco because y'all know eco sometimes can be a little drying and i'm not y'all know i do my hair once a week and then y'all i went ahead and sealed in the moisture with the honey's handmade melba's kitchen collection edition to creamy corn silk hair serum um i usually just use this to take down braids but since this is a hair and scalp oil i'm not gonna put that on my strands so i was like let's go ahead and finish this up y'all see that there is a real little bit left so i'm gonna go ahead and finish this um i do like the oil and it smells so good my leave-in is already applied i wanted this to sit in a little bit because eco doesn't always y'all know like play well with others so i wanted to give this the best chance possible so i did um leave my leave-in conditioner and i want to say maybe like 15 minutes not too long but you know i put on some lotion you know you know a little razzle dazzle so yeah let me go ahead and section my hair off and i'll come right back okay y'all so this is what my hair is looking like with the leave-in and oils applied i did just have them you know twisted up so that it would um you know not get too crazy while i left it in for a little while but my hair feels really really good and yeah let's go ahead and start going in with this gel so y'all the directions on um the container are pretty much non-existent it just says you can apply it to wet or dry hair as we all know and it says to style as desired so i'm gonna just go ahead and do it as if it was my um wet line y'all know i'm i'm gonna treat it as if it's just a regular regular gel um my hair y'all know that i have a lot of different textures so i'm just gonna go ahead and spray it with some water and it is warm water because um i don't know i just feel like this needs the best chance possible i did do the mix test but i don't know i'm not about to be playing those games with this daggone ego so 
so that is what my hair is looking like just the leave-in and i'm gonna start off with this much gel i really don't know how much to go in with because y'all know eco is kind of thick as y'all can see it is looking like it's gonna mix well but i don't know y'all i just mm, mm, ego just scares me sometimes because it really doesn't match with everything i am going to go ahead and get a bit more gel about the same amount that i had before make sure that you go ahead and get your roots and yeah i am going to do a little shingling nothing too crazy just where they separate naturally and y'all can see that my curls look so so good so yeah y'all i am gonna put some music on for you guys and you guys can just watch what i'm doing i have plenty of wash and go videos on my channel so if you're looking for what my technique is go ahead and i'll link some up above just so that you guys have options but yeah my hair looks pretty good so far um yeah i'll put some music on for you guys and yeah i'll see you guys when it's dry Bye. Bye. Okay, you guys, so I did go ahead and finish um, the wash and go, and these are the wet results. It is white up here, but everything else is seeming to blend in. I did have a bit of white balling on my hands, but it wasn't substantial, and I don't really see it in my hair other than like the sections that I just did. So keep your fingers crossed. I think it's, you know, going to be okay, but I really like the application process. Um, I can finally see the comparison between wet line and eco. Um, so this is the other side. I'll try to show you guys the back. My hair is growing like crazy y'all. So it is hitting a little further. You guys can see it's moving a bit. So yeah, and I put these clips here just because I'm about to go write an essay um, and I don't want the hair in my face and I usually like my hair, I like the bobby pin this side and this so that it creates a little bit more volume. But yeah, so I just wanted to come back and show you guys what wet hair look like and I will come back either tonight or tomorrow just depending on um, how long it takes my hair to dry. But yeah, so I will see you guys when it's all dry. All right, you guys, so I'm back and these are my dry results. And I do think that it looks pretty darn good if I do say so myself. Um, so yeah, um, the application process was very smooth, very simple. I think I came back and told you guys that I did have a bit of curdling just like in between my fingers. Um, but as you guys see, I don't have any flakes at all, at least not yet. Um, what I will say is, is that I'm surprised that my hair came out so voluminous. I don't know if it's because I paired it with that leave-in, that leave-in leave -in from, um, the leave-in from the Curl Essence line is just so moisturizing and it works so good on my hair. It leaves my hair very soft. Um, so I am intrigued to try this with some other things because my hair, I just didn't anticipate to have this much volume. Um, today's only Tuesday, so I'm hoping that it'll last until Saturday, but it's supposed to rain this week. I don't know. I just kind of thought that it was going to have a harder hold than it did. I didn't expect to have as much frizz as I did. You guys can see that my hair is laced with frizz. My wash and goes usually don't look this big on day one. I'm not mad at it. I'm just hoping that it'll last me all week. Y'all know I do my hair once a week and that's it. 
so yeah i do like the way it came out and i love that it is voluminous but i am just hoping that it lasts all week especially being that it's supposed to rain i just kind of thought that it was gonna last but i don't know so um i'll definitely be trying some other wash and goes with eco styler i was very intrigued to see that this is how my hair came out so um i know a lot of people just kind of stop rocking with eco styler but i do and i will until they're gone in my stash you can go back and look at my gel collection i'll link that up above from when i showed you guys my product stash but y'all see that i have a lot of ecos so let me know which one is your favorite and what's your favorite combo with eco styler so yeah you guys let me know what you guys think of this wash and go and i'll see you guys in my next video bye